Evening Astro peeps, tonight we are looking at how to set up the iPolar by iOptron. Now I've got this iPolar installed in the Sky Guider Pro which was kindly loaned to me by First Light Optics and Icarus Imaging so thanks to those guys and I'm just going to quickly run through the setups now to Polar Align using that iPolar now. So first thing I've done is I've connected the USB cable from the iPolar to my laptop so there's communication between the camera and the laptop obviously and I'm going to go into the iPolar app which I downloaded and at this point I'm going to start screen grabbing so I can show you what's on the screen so if I go and do that so I'm now recording live from the screen and I can run you through what's going on with setting this up. So the first thing we want to do is hit that connect button. See it's saying initializing now and it's telling you the actions needed. Plate solver only works after a dark frame has been taken. So what I'm going to do is pop the poloscope cap over the iPolar poloscope so it makes it pitch black so we can take a dark frame so now we've done that I'm going to hit settings at this point you can see we've got a site location so you have to put your latitude and longitude you can find that out by Google searching latitude longitude on the internet and then we can just go and take a dark frame now we've covered the uh, the camera press ok when you're ready and now it will take a dark frame so the dark frame has now been taken and at the moment it's saying no stars are detected Let me just try turning this light off see if that helps hold on a minute i know why so that's a bit of a schoolboy error because I've left the cap in front of the camera and that's why we've got no stars. So magically, if I remove that cap after taking that dark frame and now we've got a ton of stars, that's great. Oh. <laughs> it's one of those idiot moments, isn't it? Right, so now we've got 29 plus stars. That's pretty amazing. That's the most I've had so far. We can see that it says stars detected 29 plate solve succeed the position of the virtual pole was shown as a maroon circle please adjust altitude and azimuth knobs on the mount to let the virtual pole match the crosshairs so basically we need to overlap that cross with that maroon circle and we do that by adjusting the let's put that light on so you can see and we do that by adjusting these out azimuth adjustments on the out azimuth base of the mount so let's do that now making adjustments in azimuth now and you can see that cross is getting closer to the maroon circle when we get really close it zooms in so you can make really fine adjustments it's worth just making some fine adjustments to get it right as the whole point of this iPolar is so you can more accurately polar align if you just wanted to rough align you could just quickly use an optical polar scope so it really is worth getting it right let's get that a bit closer come on there we go. I think that's fair to say that's pretty pretty close to being spot on. And at that point, we are polar aligned. Now, when I first did this, I was like, what's next? Because I expected more prompting, but then I realised that that's the job done. We are polar aligned, and then we can actually just switch to using the camera and happily track the stars. So we are done. That's how you do the Ioptron iPolar polar alignment. Um, oh, that was useful. So things of, other things I need to mention is if, you've, if you can't find enough stars, you can adjust these gain settings here and the exposure time. It goes up to 500 milliseconds. 
and a gain of 7.5 times. So that can help boost the amount of stars you can see. I did notice during a full moon high up above, I was getting no, no stars to two stars with all the settings maxed out. So I've discovered you can't really use this mount for say narrowband imaging during a full moon. Um, because you can't get enough stars to plate solve. But when the moon's not about, I think it's a good choice to get that really accurate polar alignment and also get a good accurate polar alignment if you can't even see the, po the pole star Polaris, if you've not got access to the pole star, or if you're in the southern hemisphere and obviously that's a bit more involved getting that polar alignment. Anyway, that's the polar alignment of the iPolar. I hope you enjoyed that and Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more content and see you next time.